Hi everyone, I'm Karen from Close to My Heart. Today we're going to be doing some fun tags for the holidays and learning a little bit about embossing. Before we get started though, I just want to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and also be sure to turn on those bell notifications. That way you'll never miss a great Close to My Heart video. Now let's move on to holiday tags and embossing. We have several different kinds of tag stamps that we just came out with that coordinate with some amazing tag dies that we carry that give you all kinds of choices for the holidays. There's elegant, there's funny, there's religious, there are all kinds of um, ways to create tags. And today we're going to create a few of them together. And I'm gonna show you a few different embossing techniques and different colors of embossing. So let's take a, a look at what we're gonna be using. The, this is our um, die cut set called All Purpose Tags. And you can see that there are tons of different tag sizes and tons of different little accessories that can go on your tags. I've already pre-cut several of these that we'll be using today. You'll also see that I have four different embossing powders out here in front of me, gold, white, clear, and silver. We're gonna use all of those today in this video and we're going to just create some really fun tags. I've added some of these new tag stamps to some blocks so that we can have those handy to get started. And um, I'm gonna bring in this first one and I've cut our large circle tag out of black cardstock. You can see here that big one. And we're going to use this religious Christmas stamp that says, Oh, come let us adore him. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to season the stamp. You can just do that by rubbing it on your hand, your arm, whatever, just to let your, the oils from your skin take that shiny finish off the stamp that is there when it's brand new. And that'll help the ink absorb a little bit better. We're going to need a pad that's called a Versamark pad. This pad is clear but it's got an ink in it that's sticky, which is awesome because we need that powder to be able to stick to it. Another tool that I have with me today is our anti-static pouch. We're gonna use that because when you put your embossing powder onto your paper, if there's any static electricity happening there at all, it will not only stick to the stamped image, but it will probably stick to the surface of the cardstock in places we don't want it to stick. And so this little guy, we just rub it over whatever it is we're gonna be stamping and embossing, and it will take away that static electricity. So that's a really great tool. We're gonna use the Versamark pad and ink up that, oh, come let us adore him stamp. And we'll stamp that right in the center of this black cardstock tag. Set that over to the side for a moment. Now I'm gonna just grab a, like a extra sheet of cardstock. You can use scratch paper, whatever you have handy. And we're gonna take our gold embossing powder and just sprinkle that over the top of what we've stamped. That's why I've got this scratch piece of paper here. I'm just gonna pick that up and shake all of the excess off. Now I want you to take a look at that. Let's look at this at the close-up camera. I think you might actually be able to see a little better what's happening here. So you can see maybe right there, there's a little bit of powder left. You can always take a paintbrush and brush up off any little pieces of embossing powder that may still be sticking, but there should be very few when you use that anti-static pouch. And then the next step to emboss is to heat. We carry um, an embossing heat gun that we'll be using. I'm just gonna bring this out of the way, bring my Versamat in here so that I can set that on top. I'm gonna pour this back into my pot. That scratch piece of paper makes it so you don't waste any embossing powder. And one of the my favorite things about embossing powder is that when you do that, it lasts forever. This little pot of embossing powder will go on and on and on, which is awesome. Okay, so we need to heat this. I have with me our heat tool and it does get really warm. That's kind of the purpose, right? We need it to get hot so it melts that powder into the ink that it's sitting on. So I'm just gonna hold on to my tag with a pair of tweezers so I don't burn my fingers. We're gonna start our gun. We want to just wave it over the tag, over what we've 
done. The reason I'm waving it is if you hold it right up close and don't move it, you could scorch your paper. So I'm keeping it at a little bit of a distance. It makes it take a tiny bit longer to emboss that way, but that way you don't have to worry about scorching. And we'll watch the magic happen. You can start to see it happening right now. Can you see that melting and turning into that beautiful metallic gold? You want to make sure that everything on there is embossed. And then it's hot right now. So you'll want to let it cool for just a second before you touch it because it's still a little bit sticky until it's cooled off. Now, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to bring in this cute little accessory that's in that tag set and add a little adhesive to this. And you can see one other fun thing that that tag die cut set can do. It creates a little hole reinforcer that fits perfectly right here on top of those holes in the tag. Isn't that cute? You could cut that out of black. You could cut it out of any color you want. It's just a cute little accent. So we've created our first embossed tag. You can see that fun metallic shine. So we used the gold embossing on this tag. And I think I'll just stay right here where you can see me close up to create the other tags that I brought to do. So we'll set this one over to the side. I'm gonna bring in one that's cut out of our pine card stock. That's a whole different shape tag. I love this little stitch detail at the top. Can you see that? I think you probably can, that's so cute. And we're gonna do something really fun with that stitched detail on this particular tag. You may be noticing too that I have this piece of foam underneath me. It just makes a nice cushion for your stamping and they come in every stamp set that we sell. So we are now going to grab a stamp that says, have a cup of cheer. I mentioned there's all kinds of themes of these um, tag stamps. We'll ink that with our Versamark pad. And this time we're gonna emboss in silver. So I'm gonna just stamp that on there. We're gonna just repeat the same process again. By the time we're done with this video, I'm gonna create, I think, three tags, four tags. I'm gonna create four tags for you today. You will have watched me emboss a few times with different colors, and you will be a pro. In fact, when I started stamping about, I don't know, 35 years ago, um, the first thing that I saw that made me so excited to do embossing was, I mean, do stamping was embossing. And I bought all of the stuff to emboss right on the spot because I just thought it was the most magical thing I'd ever seen. And even to this day, all these years later, I still love embossing so much. Okay, we've got our silver powder added to our stamped image. I'm gonna pour that right back into that pot of silver embossing powder. The lid back on because I don't know, I have spilled a pot of embossing powder before. So I've learned my lesson. Always put that lid back on before you start to move things around. And we're just going to do the same thing here. We're gonna heat this up and you're gonna see it emboss and turn silver. This heat's gonna start doing its magic here in about a second. Here we go. Can you see that happening? Cute, cute silver embossing on that pine card stock. My daughters and I get together every year the night before Thanksgiving and the last probably five years we have done um, Christmas tags. We always do some kind of craft, sometimes something in addition, in addition to Christmas tags, but it's such a fun tradition. And um, it's so nice to have all of those cute Christmas tags ready for, for Christmas. Okay, so we've got this embossed in silver. Now I'm gonna show you a really fun trick. These are called embossing pens. So they're like the ink that is in this Versamark pad, but I can write with them or draw with them or do all kinds of fun things with them, um, add little details. So the top of this tag that's right above where that stitched image is, we're just gonna do a little embossing with white. So I'm gonna take, these, these pens each have a different tip. One's a bullet tip, one's a fine tip, and one is a brush tip. You can kind of see the difference of those right there. I'm just gonna use this bullet tip one. And color on this tag, first I'm gonna get rid of any static right there. I'm gonna color right here from the stitch line up with this embossing pen. 
And while it's still nice and wet and sticky, I'm going to sprinkle it with white embossing powder, which I'm grabbing right now. Sprinkle that white on there. Tap off the extra. Can you see how that just stuck to every little inch of what I just colored in with that embossing pen? I'm going to pour this back into our little pot of embossing powder and then we'll heat that up and you'll be able to see on the same tag the white and silver and that you can add your own fun details tweezers I know I'm gonna burn those fingers there we go okay so you're gonna see that white melt as well and you're gonna be able to see a more solid embossed image this way too which is really great um, you could even do things like what if you embossed a flower with gold embossing powder and then you um, and then you colored in part of it with your embossing pen and white powder. So you could have a gold outline with some white insides. There's all kinds of ways you can get creative. You know what? I should do that over the black. Then you'll be able to see the white better. Now, this same exact tag I already have pre-made because I wanted to show you that instead of doing the boss, embossing up top you could also die cut a tag out of this gorgeous scarlet color and just cut on the stitched line and glue that to the top so there's lots of ways you could accent the top here's another example of that same tag with the white embossing and the silver embossing on a light gray paper very elegant wouldn't you say okay so now you've learned a little bit about silver about gold about white and also about um, coloring with those embossing pens now while we're on the subject of embossing pens let's do one more fun thing with those i'm going to bring in a scarlet cardstock tag and we are going to start by taking our fine tip let's find that one here it is and we're going to just kind of draw a border around the edge of this scarlet tag with this pen and then we'll emboss a gold border i think it's going to turn out really pretty and the nice thing about this is once you add your powder and heat it if you've missed a spot or want to go back and make something thicker you can easily do that and just reheat it once you've done it Okay, so I'm just adding powder to that edge and trying to hold my fingers where I haven't added that embossing pen. Okay, here's where my fingers had embossing powder, so we're just going to use our paintbrush to take that off a little bit. And we'll be ready to heat that up as soon as I put away my powder. Okay, right now it probably is hard to see that embossing powder on the edge. This time I'm just going to hold it in place on my scratch paper here with my tweezers so that I can twist it around as I'm embossing. And you'll be able to see that cute little border around the edge that we created with the embossing pen. So it almost looks like you've layered it onto a piece of uh, a gold foil paper. You can kind of see that embossing beginning to happen right there on the edge. Just going to keep twisting and heating here. These little tweezers I use for so many different things. I use them to put embellishments on. I use them to, if I have tiny little pieces that I'm adding to something that I've added a little liquid adhesive to, I need something to hold on to them without um, like touching the adhesive. I'll use these little tweezers, all kinds of things. They're awesome and they're great for embossing. Okay, we're just about there. I've just about got all the edges embossed. And you can kind of see that nice gold border we've created with that embossing pen. Maybe I'll slide it onto the black here and it might be a little easier to see. Yes. So you can see that really pretty gold border. Now while I'm at it, each of the stamp sets that I'm using today, I'm using, I think, four or five 
different tag stamp sets today and they all come with, even though they all have different styles and looks, they all come with a to and a from in their stamp set, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna take one of the twos. I'm gonna wipe the center of this off with my anti-static pouch. We'll stamp a two on this tag. You could do a two and a from, you could do a two on the front, a from on the back. You could do both of them on the back and add a cute little poinsettia or something there. All kinds of ways to get creative with these stamp sets. This time I'm gonna use white again. We did that just a second ago. I'm gonna sprinkle that right over that word. And I can reheat this tag just like I did that other one when I added the white border on the top. Just gonna hold that right there with my tweezers and we'll emboss that cute little white tube. Oh, here it goes. I can see it already starting to melt, which is awesome. There we go. So you can see another fun way to use the embossing pens and um, the powder on that tag. And I have one more I'm gonna show you and we're gonna make together here. This time we're going to combine some clear embossing with some gold embossing and just use a plain black stamp pad as well. So let's see here. We're gonna start with a cute border that we'll do in gold. And we're just gonna do that right along that stitch line. So I'll grab my burst mark pad, this cute border, ink that up, and stamp that right on that stitch line. Add some powder. You guys have it down now, right? You've watched me do it several times, so now you know exactly how to do it. Stamp with the Versa mark, add the powder, shake it off, pour it back in its pot, and heat it up. Just make sure you use that anti-static pouch whenever you have something that's being a little staticky. And I like to, like I said earlier, have a paintbrush handy too. I see one little spot right there. Okay, let's heat this one up. And then we're gonna do some clear on this one. This color of cardstock is Harbor. Isn't that a really delicious, deep, deep teal color? Um, I find that even though I love navy paper as well, we have a blue that's called sapphire that's a, a navy color and I use it a ton. I feel like Harbor's almost interchangeable and gives it a whole different feel. It acts almost like a navy, but has a little bit more green in it and is really deep and gorgeous. Okay, so we've got that cute gold border across the top. The next thing I'm going to do is, let's see if I can find a to and from handy right here. Let's just stamp those in black really quick. There's a two. Got an intense black stamp pad here. There's my two. And I think I still need a from. Where did I just put that? Oh, right in front of me, huh? Let's use our from and add that. And then we're gonna add some cute accents with some clear embossing. So we've got our two and our from stamped. And I just need to grab piece that I'm going to use as our accent. Okay, the stamp that I've chosen is kind of a, um, oh gosh, I guess geometric looking. It could be a snowflake. It could be a geometric poinsettia. It could be all kinds of fun things. And this time we're going to use some clear powder and I'm going to show you a neat technique with that. So I've got my clear embossing powder out and my Bursa mark. Pad, and I'm just going to take the stamp and I'm going to stamp it kind of coming in partially on the side here and once down there, maybe once up here, just slightly coming in on the top of the tag. So I've got that all stamped and I'm ready to add some clear embossing powder to that.
and clear embossing powder when it embosses it, all it's going to do is pick up the color of the paper underneath and be a little shiny so you're going to see what i mean here in just a second i'm just taking the powder that's stuck to that to and from because it's almost to dry but not quite off and we'll pour this back into our embossing powder container and we're going to emboss this clear and i'll show you what that looks like it would be cute just like we're doing it with the clear shiny embossing but i'm going to show you a neat technique that you can do with clear embossing as well and then we'll just take a look at lots of tags we've created with the tag thin cut that we are using today and several of our tag stamps and embossing of course you could make any of these tags just with regular stamping Today, we just thought it would be fun to show you kind of how to step things up with embossing. I think embossing is such a beautiful and impressive technique that looks like it's magic. And really, once you've done it, you realize how easy it is to do. I'm gonna bring back in this white paper I've been using so it's easier to see. Okay, you can kind of see those cute little images. They're shiny. But if I want them to stand out even more, I can take a sponge, or a blending brush. This is just a fun blending brush that um, is, it looks like a sponge, it's not a sponge. It's actually got little bristles. And I'm gonna take the same color stamp pad as the paper I've been using, which is Harbor. Add a little bit of ink to this blending brush. I'm just gonna pounce it off a little bit to make sure how much ink I've got there. And I can go back over where I have embossed with a little bit of ink. And that dark will go down around and inside where it's embossed, but where it is embossed itself, it's not going to stick. And we can even take a tissue or something and wipe that off to make sure there's none on top of the slick embossing area. And it just gives it even a little more definition. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. I'm just gonna wipe that off a little bit on the embossed places. And Hopefully you can see that nice shadowing around them. Isn't that fun? Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna turn this over so you don't have to look at the mess while I pull in tags, but I think it'll be fun for you to see these tags all close up. Here are the ones that we created today together. Oh, we created the one with a hole reinforcer here. But I'm going to show you some other fun ones. There's another one just like the one we created today, but we didn't add an enforcer. Here are the two examples I showed you, like the one we created up here. Only just a little bit of a variation on those. I'm going to keep bringing in some fun tags. So here's one that is partially embossed in white and partially in gold. Isn't that fun? You could just um, stamp this, cover, with a little piece of paper as you sprinkled the white over the top, spring, um, shake that off, then do the same thing and add your gold embossing powder, shake that off, and then you could heat them up together and you get that really awesome image. Or if you have two separate stamps, of course, you could do it that way. This one's fun. It's gold embossing on our toffee paper and then just a little sentiment stamped in black ink. Here we go again with a little bit of combo. We've got white, with some gold um, on the sides for those cute stars. Again, gold with white. Here we did that same technique of using those embossing pens to color and then embossing on top of those just at the top of that tag. This is white embossing. If I had to pick a favorite, gosh, that's hard. Maybe almost like choosing your favorite child, but I think I would say for me, white embossing on a dark or bright cardstock would win by just a little bit of an edge, but I also love all the others. So you can see there's that same image that we just embossed here, only this time it's embossed in white. Here we embossed it in clear and added some shadowing on that. So what do you think? Embossing is a really fun technique, isn't it? It's one of my very favorites, and I hope that I inspired you with some fun embossing techniques and ideas, as well as gorgeous holiday tags that you can create on your own in no time at all.